Hey guys, it's me. Um, I just wanted to show you my wall back here. I put up a bunch of the stuff I got at VidCon. My annoying orange poster signed by everybody. And all my My Music pictures. Metal. Uh, uh, techno and dubstep. Scene. Indie. Hip-hop. Uh, Reina. And of course, <gasps> intern number two. He's the most, don't you know? Everybody wants a piece of intern number two. <clears throat> Who wouldn't? I mean, hold on a sec. Let me get his his smexy picture down. I mean, I mean, look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Who wouldn't want a piece of that? <sighs> See, there's what he wrote for me too. He said I was exquisite. Mm. Did he say you were exquisite? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, ugh. so I'm still in my recovery phase from VidCon and all the fucking crazy shit that went down. And, um, as you can see, I'm wearing my new Ariel shirt today. Ariel! And her big, giant seashell bra. It's very cute. And, uh, I ended up going to my Weight Watcher meeting this morning instead of yesterday, because... My fucking flight got delayed by, like, three hours, and I didn't get home until, like, really late. And I woke up the next morning, and I was like, jeez, I don't feel like getting out of bed. Pretty much stayed in bed all day yesterday. Only got up to eat, and then just went back to bed. <laughs> Playing catch-up, you know. And I went to my Weight Watcher meeting this morning, and I gained a little bit. I, ironically, I gained .4, which is, like, nothing. I mean, considering all the stuff that I ate and drank... Uh, including alcohol. Speaking of alcohol, I actually, when I went to the store today to buy my groceries, I had some extra money, because apparently I just, whenever I go to VidCon, it's like I never spend any money. It's like the only money I spend is like on food and shit. I mean, the only souvenirs I bought were the, were the three shirts from Disneyland that I showed you guys. I mean, that was pretty much it. That was all I bought. I didn't really buy anything else. And um, I came back with a lot of extra money, so I bought me a bottle of coconut rum. So I can make my own rum and Cokes at home. Mm! That's very dangerous, but um, as long as you don't see me drinking from, directly from the bottle in any of these videos, I think I'm good. The only other problem is that I'm going to have to uh, start putting my drinks into glasses if I'm going to do that. <clears throat> dom, dom, dom. That's going to be too much work. Well, not really. But anyway, um, so I only gained 0.4, which still puts me at 94.6. 94.6. But um, still, still not that far away from, from uh, the 100, you know. So I'm, I mean, I actually weigh 205 exactly right now, 205. So I'm 5.1 away from being under 200 pounds. And, I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, after the weekend I had... My self-esteem has just skyrocketed um, because I had such a such an eventful weekend. Is the the best way I can I can think of to to um, talk about it. And um, I mean, I've I'm already noticing huge differences. Like when I'm interacting with people, I'm I'm smiling, I'm happier, and um, it's it's just amazing how how someone could just show you an unbelievable kindness. You know, and that's pretty much what I'm calling it. I'm calling it a kindness. You know, because, you know, just the way people treated me at VidCon, you know, was just amazing. You know, I mean, there were a few people who were dicks to me. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna name any names. But these two assholes know who they are. And, um, pretty much, I mean, there's, you know, that's, that's on them. That's on them. It's not on me, because... Even when I did see these two people, I was still I was still nice and friendly to them if I even talked to them at all. In fact, one of them I just completely ignored just because I was worried that he would have said something mean to me. And I didn't want him to say anything mean to me, so I just didn't say anything to him at all. You know, the other one I tried desperately to be nice to, but he just kind of looked... He just kind of gl kept glaring at me and looking at me strangely and... And just wasn't very nice to me at all, but I was still trying to be nice to him despite that, you know. 
And it's just, you know, again, this is on these people who think I'm this creepy stalker type of person. And one interesting thing that I wanted to tell you guys that Sawyer told me on um, Sunday at Disneyland, which I thought was extremely interesting. So if anybody out there um, considers me like a stalker-esque kind of person, just listen to this. So one thing I was saying to Sawyer is when I was walking with him, I said, you know, I really appreciate you letting me hang out with you, with you guys, you know, him and Brandon. They're two really great guys, by the way. And I said, you know, it's just, you know, a lot of people consider me like a creepy stalker type. And he looked at me and he said, he smiled and he said, no, you know, a, a stalker is someone who, like, hides back in the distance and, like, watches you from a distance. You know, when, since you came up to me, you're not a stalker. You know, which I thought was really sweet and endearing. And technically really, really true. Because technically, stalkers like to stay, you know, hidden until the last minute when they come up and kidnap you and try to kill you and shit like that, so... So to anybody who's who's seriously who seriously thinks I'm still a creepy stalker, you know, please take take that in mind. You know, because I met I'm I, I literally met every single YouTuber that I big YouTuber that I really wanted to meet. You know, and nobody had anything bad to say about me at all. Nobody. You know, and um I just thought it was really nice, you know, it was really eye opening and it was really exciting to meet some of these people, some of these big big name YouTubers, and, you know, I mean, I got nervous, you know, yeah, when it came to the Fine Brothers, I was nervous as hell, I mean, it didn't really show, but I was, a, I was a fucking nervous wreck, I was, um, because the first time I met the Fine Brothers was at the, the Millie panel, and, um, I didn't really get to talk to Benny, because technically Benny was Millie, so he was under the table, and all that stuff, so I, that was kind of, you know, mm. And I was wearing my Hey It's Millie shirt, so I looked like a complete nerd. And um, also, um, I believe the next Hey It's Millie video where they show her answering questions live from VidCon, I should actually be in that video because I asked two questions. I'm hoping they use them because I think my questions were actually pretty good. Um, so, um, and then, you know, just talking to Rafi on the side, I was I was kind of keeping Millie as as Millie, you know. I wasn't... Because I, I said to Rafi, I said, I really want to get a picture with you, but not in front of her. Because I knew she'd get mad, you know. And he said, okay, okay, you know. And then it was like the next day was when I went to meet my music. And I came up to them, and they were all really nice. My music, the, the characters from my music were amazing. They really were. They were all really cool. I felt really bad because, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm telling this story twice, but it's a great story, and I like telling stories. Um, but it's like I was going through meeting them. First it was Raina, you know, Metal's daughter. Well, if you watch my music, you, you'll you know who I'm talking about. And if not, you need to go watch it because it's an awesome show. And Metal was sitting next to her. He's her dad. And um, and I re I leaned over to hug Metal, and Idol was like, it's like, oh, no, no interacting with the celebrities. You know, and I'm just like, oh, jeez. I was like, okay, sorry. You know, and... Um, and, of course, Raina was like, ew. And I was like, he's like, where would you like me to sign? And I was like, here, you can sign all the way to the back next to this picture of Tinkerbell. And Raina just started cracking up. She thought it was so funny. And, you know, then I had Idol sign. I had pretty much everybody sign. And it was, it was funny because, I mean, the problem is once I got to hip-hop, I just kind of completely skipped over him because Scene was sitting next to him. And I love Scene. She is so adorable. She just makes me happy. She makes me so happy because she's so optimistic. Yay! And so it's just like I completely skipped over <laughs> over hip hop, but I felt like such an asshole because it was seen and then then intern number two, they were sitting next to each other. And so I was all, you know, and um, I even told intern number two, I, I refused. I absolutely refused to say, shut up, shut up intern two because when they were on stage, Indy kept saying, I think I skipped over Indy, too. No, I said hi to Indy. But Indy said, okay, everyone in your meanest, nastiest voice say, shut up, intern two. And I'm, I'm sitting in the front row, mind you, and I'm like, no, not doing it. You know? And he was like, oh, so you were defending me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I was. You know, but, um, but yeah, that was really cool. And it's like, at, right after I talked to Techno and Dubstep at the end, um, I realized, I was like, shit, I just completely skipped over, um, 
hip hop. And I was like, dude, I'm really sorry I skipped over you. He's like, he's like, I got you. I got your back. It's cool. It's cool. I was like, I'm sorry. But intern number two is my, you know, and I went to all these lame excuses as to why I skipped over. And he's like, oh, it's cool, girl. It's cool. Don't worry about it. You know, he was really cool. He was really, they were all really, really nice. And then after that, I decided to take a chance, and I got into the line to meet Smosh. I mean, they were only going to be there for like 10 more minutes, but I was like, mm, let me see if I can at least get them to sign my autograph book since we can't do pictures. And sure enough, I got up there and got to meet them again. It was so nice because they actually remembered me from last year too, which I thought was crazy. I mean, I didn't think I was that memorable. You know, and I'd lost, I've lost like 50 pounds since last year, you know. So, so I went up to them and I said, hey, remember I met you in BJ's last year, and I didn't know who the hell you were, and I was awkward and retarded and they laughed you know they were both really really sweet you know and you know I got to shake their hands and they signed my book and and it was awesome and then what I did after that is um um god I'm trying to remember where I went after that I think I went to another panel either what the buck or something else I went to some other panel and then later on I went back to the my music line because it was like 1 30 at this point and I still had time to get I was like okay I was like I'm gonna try to get back in the my music line and see if I can just get autographs from Rafi and Benny and, and get pictures with them and stuff. And so I went back in the line and um, I saw Benny walking up. He was walking up and I was like, mm. I was like, Benny. And I was like, Benny, can I ask you a question? He's like, sure, what's up? And I was like, well, um, I, I'm not here to see my music again, you know, because I kind of already saw them and stuff, but I was wondering if there was any way I could possibly um, uh, have you sign my autograph book and possibly get a picture with uh, you and Rafi. And he said, sure, hey, sure, hang on a sec, I'll make that happen, you know. And I was like, I was so excited. So they, they both came over, and um, Rafi was like, oh, oh, hi again. And I was like, hi, you know, and I was all, I was all ner nerdy and fangirly and shit like that. And um, and we took a picture, and um, initially I was going to just get the picture with Rafi, but since they were both there, I was like, you know what, I might as well get it with both of them. Why the hell not, right? And it's funny, because I was holding a can of Diet Coke and a Disney autograph book, and I was like, no product placement at all here, you know? And um, they were both really, really sweet, you know? It was really great meeting them. They're two of the most amazing, amazingly talented guys who work their fucking asses off and don't get enough recognition. You know, I mean, considering how many people were, were in the line f to meet my music and how many people were in line to meet Smosh, I was insulted, I really was. I mean, there was like maybe 50 people in line to meet my music, and there were like probably 100 to 150 in line to meet Smosh. That really pissed me off because my music was such a, is such an amazing show. I mean, I know it's a kind of a, a newer show, but I was, I was really insulted that the, that the Fine Brothers don't get that kind of, you know, that kind of... Uh, attention that they sh that they really really deserve because they are extremely nice guys you know and um it was it was it was an extreme pleasure to meet them and and get to talk to them for a little bit and have them sign my book and and all that stuff but um but yeah that was really great and um I'm trying to think of some any other exceptional highlights from VidCon um e meeting Ethan Newberry was really was really awesome because I absolutely adore him. He's he's so funny. He's such a funny guy. Um, you know, I I went to his panel, and um, I sat up right up in the front. You know, and I I kept meeting I kept making goofy comments in the middle of of their panel, and um, I and I felt so bad about it because I'm like, because <laughs> it was like how to become a better YouTuber kind of panel or something like that, and I'm just like. I mean, the only person I really knew on the panel was um, was Ethan and uh, Ka Caleb. I think his name's Caleb. They were the only two people I recognized on the whole panel, and there were like like four women on the panel. I, I I can't remember who they were, but I mean, I'm sure there'll be videos. You know, there'll be videos. And um, afterwards, I was like, Ethan, I was so glad to meet you. We took a really cute picture too. We took a really cute picture. And um, I said I was so glad to meet him and stuff. And he was really nice about it and and things like that. And, uh, I mean, like I said, a lot of VidCon was like a big blur to me because I met so many people. I mean, in total, between Disneyland and VidCon, I had, I think, a total of 112 photographs. 112 photographs. Like, let me see if I can actually pull up any of these pictures on my iPad if it'll, if it'll show up without a fucking glare. Because I'd love to show you this picture of me and Ethan, if I can find it. 
do 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 Yay. Oh, so many pictures of me with Sawyer. <laughs> Just saying. Like, like here was this picture of me with the Fine Brothers. Damn glare. There we go. That was that was a really cute picture. I really liked that one. Um, yum, yum, yum. where's the one of me with Ethan? Ethan. No, that's not Ethan. There are actually some duplicate pictures in here. I I got to figure out how to fix this so that I have I have just, you know, singles instead of doubles of of all these pictures. Um, do 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 do. There was Caleb's well, I'll show this one for now, because this was my picture with, with Caleb. And technically, Ethan, that's Ethan in the background there. But yeah, that was that was Caleb. I'm pretty sure his name was Caleb. If I'm wrong, you know, if you know who he is, you know, leave a comment below and let me know who he, who the hell he is. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that was his name. He he was an author of, a, of books. I know that much. Because I remember they tried to get me to um, buy the book last year, and I just wasn't, I, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not a big reader. Because last year I wasn't that I wasn't a, a big reader like I am now. Now I I love to read. All right. Here's my lovely picture with Ethan Newberry. Oh, Ethan! He was so cool. He was so cool. <laughs> See, that's one one other thing I've learned about a lot of YouTubers is a lot of YouTubers are really snuggly people. A lot of them are really snuggly people, like. Like you can go up to them and, eh. you like you can just go right up to them and and wrap your arms around them and they don't care. You know. This is this is still by far my most favorite picture, from VidCon, but the glare is too bad, horrible. Damn the glare. But um oh yeah here's my picture with Shauna. Shane Dawson Shauna. I was like, ooh, girl. Because I remember I walked off the stage after meeting Shane, and I was like, girl, what's up? And she's like, why are you coming at me? Why are you coming at me? And I was like, and I got a little scared. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and she's like, no, it's cool. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. She was really cool. She was really awesome. I'm like, you're not really Jamaican, are you? And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh, man. She was, she was really funny. She was really, really funny. It was really, really nice meeting her. And, um, this was my picture with Shane. Look at how cute. Look at how cute he is! The funny thing is our hair almost looks the same color. We could be brother and sister. Well, not really. That would be disgusting. Um, and, uh, somewhere in here, there's a picture of me with, uh, Shane's brother, Jared. I want to try to find it so I can show you. There it is. There's me with Jared. Jared. And when I say Jared, I don't mean the Subway sandwich guy. I mean Shane's brother. <laughs> but yeah, he was really cool too. He was really nice. I wish I could have met their mom. I wish their mom had shown up. That would have been epic. But uh, I think that's enough, you know, because it's too difficult to show you these pictures on here. Um, like I said, if you watch any of my VidCon videos, I have a link to all my all my YouTube pictures, and this video has gone on way too long. I need to stop making my videos run so long. It's just, I love to ramble. In case you didn't notice. It's a little bit. But anyway, guys, um, take care. Hopefully, I'm going to work really hard to try to have a good weight loss for next week because I'm determined to try to lose this last 65 pounds before VidCon next year. Duh! Well, I mean, I mean, in a year, in 11 months, I was able to lose 50 pounds, okay? In, in 11 months, I lost 50 pounds. So I'm thinking if I could do that, I mean, I should be able to drop pretty close to that by next year. I mean, because even if I can get remotely close to, the, to my goal weight, you know, even 10, 15 pounds away from it, you know, I, I, if I could lose another 50 pounds this year, I would be good with that too. Because what would that put me at? That would put me at like 150 155, 160-ish, somewhere around there. And I'd, I'd probably look pretty damn good at that weight. I mean, because realistically, I wanted to talk to my doctor and try to set my goal weight at like 160.
But um, when my we, my leader measured me and saw that I was five two and a half, I was able to take the five three weight, which is one forty one versus one thirty seven. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and try to shoot for that and see, you know, fingers crossed, you know, see how it goes. Anyway, once again, this video has gone on way too long because once again, Janet likes to ramble. Anyway, uh, take it easy, guys. Love you, and I'll talk to y'all later.